45-year-old female, ped struck at high speed, responsive but unstable. Vital signs. BP 85 over 60, heart rate 120, respiratory rate 30. Prepare for decompression of pneumothorax right away. One, two, three. Stat abdominal and neck CT scan. I, I can't access our system for some reason. Send in manual order. Now! Pressure's falling. She stopped breathing. What the hell is this? My computer is frozen up. Where's IT? Call them now. Can anyone tell me what's going on with our computer system right now? Scarlet is down. We can't access any files. Mark, all computers, all tablets are just not working. You have to help us. I don't know what's going on here. Hi. Mark, I need you here right now. Stand there. Don't you see what is happening here? We have tons of patients. We wait, wait, help. what? Because the system is any idea what this means Do your for job us? and let us do ours. People are dying here and we can't even place a simple order. You are supposed to be responsible do for the security. Don't you now. stand there? Don't you see what is happening here? We have tons of patients. Stand there. Do you see what is happening here? Now, right now. Don't you see what's going on here? People are dying here. When every second is a matter of life and death, this is not just a problem, it's a catastrophe. While the hospital staff were dealing with victims of a multi-vehicle accident, the hospital was hit by ransomware. The chaos that overcame the clinic has put patients' lives at risk. Mark is the hospital CISO. He was hired to prevent such attacks. Unfortunately, he made the wrong calls and failed. The only way to help him now is to go back in time and have Mark make the right decisions. It's all on you. Are you ready? Okay, good luck. Hey Mark, good to see you. David, meet Mark Jefferson, our new CISO. This is David, our Ops Manager. Welcome to Golden Oaks. How's the first day? Not bad at all. It's a pretty big clinic you got here. I almost got lost in the corridors. Happens to everyone. Anyway, you came at the right time. We were just talking about possible improvements to the network. We'd love to hear your opinion. Uh, gladly. I'd like to go through the architecture schematics first. As you see, we have a fully virtualized data center set up for a failover with a hot standby and a few cloud solutions for our lab analytics and home healthcare products. What kind of security are you running? Standard models, strong perimeter, DMZ, content filtering, that kind of stuff. Of course, we have AV on the endpoints, but we had to remove some of the security from the virtual and cloud environments because of the overhead. I do know that there's a black hole as far as mobile devices go, though. And what do you think, Mark? Well, I appreciate what you do here, David. But frankly, I see some room for improvement. Do you have anything specific in mind? Actually, I do. I appreciate your effort, David. And although I'm suggesting enhancing our security, I think we should use the infrastructure as the foundation for it. It's pretty solid in my opinion. Thanks. Uh, <laughs> I'm open to your suggestions. I'm glad to hear that. I have an idea that will almost have immediate impact on our security, but there is a catch. We'll need to expedite spending of the next quarter's budget now. I'm ready to consider it if the costs are reasonable. Okay, here's what I think. Well, we need something versatile that covers our basic security needs but at the same time has minimal impact on performance. We should invest in something that gives us central management for all security and also works across all our virtual and cloud servers. Do you have any specifics? There are a couple on the market right now. 
I'll find the best cost-benefit ratio and make a proposal. Sounds good. Let's make it happen. Hello? Hi Mark, it's Logan. Sorry to bother you so early. It's okay, I'm already up. What's going on? I've just got word that we're in breach of compliance and an investigation's being kicked off. What kind of data are we talking about? I'm forwarding it to you right now. It looks like patient's clinical data. It talks about a registered complaint that former patients have received unsolicited sales approaches. The complaint refers to a third party that tried to sell medical treatments for a very specific condition. I've, and we didn't have many patients that suffered from it. In the past two years, we only had one. Around half a year ago. How do you want to handle this? We'll need to take on our own inquiry, of course, to prepare documentation the investigators might require. I want you to meet with Ops and find out how that data leaked and make sure there are no more compliance issues. Okay. I'll be there in 15 minutes. Can you email me the record and the latest test results on this new patient? Uh... Oh, what's his name? Gosh. Uh, he suffers from intermittent cramping pain and diarrhea. Mr. Garcia, room 1501? Yeah, exactly. That's the one. Just send it to my personal email, and I'll look at the records when I get home. Oh, Dr. Allen, are you working from home again? <laughs> don't you have any social life? <laughs> no, I don't have time for that, unfortunately. Yeah. Thanks. Uh, excuse me. Oh. I'm Mark Jefferson. I'm Mia Samea. I know who you are. You're the uh, cybersecurity guy. Oh, yeah. That's me. Uh, can I ask you something? Sure. What was that all about? What? I overheard your conversation. Since it was email related, it's kind of in my ballpark. Oh, Dr. Allen works a lot from home. I send him patients' data whenever he requests it. Does he use his personal email address for work-related communications? Yeah, we all do it. Sometimes it's just easier for all of us. What kind of data are you sending him? Usually information about his patients, like test results. Full patient records with names and addresses and other patient information? Sometimes. The doctor needs to keep track of his patients, otherwise he'd just get lost in a pile of documents and emails. <laughs> Is that standard practice in this clinic? What? Sending patients data to doctors and their personal email addresses. I wouldn't say it's a standard, but a lot of the doctors ask us to do it. So Dr. Allen isn't the only one who uses a personal email address for work stuff and keeps patients' medical data on his personal device? No, it happens quite often. I get the impression that throughout your years here, no one has actually taken the time to train the staff on IT security issues. Have you ever had an IT security training at all? Not as far as I can remember. There is this policy that they make everybody sign when they're hired. Do you by any chance remember the details of this policy? No, it's a long time ago. <laughs> Thank you for the chat. That was really helpful. See you around, Mr. Jefferson. Now you take care. Oh, hey, Mark. What's up? You want a cookie? No, thanks. Listen, we have a situation. 
I just got word the authorities have launched an investigation into the hospital's patient health data compliance. That's unexpected. Not really. When you know how security policies have been ignored in the clinic. Anyway, we have to do something about it. There is a possible breach we have to take care of someone, make sure the whole infrastructure is compliant. Can we do both? That's the problem. How do you want to proceed? With the upcoming investigation, we have to make sure our network is more compliant. Let's focus on that. I agree, but what about the breach? What's done is done, but we have to prioritize. In my opinion, making our network compliant is more critical right now. When that's done, we can look for the breach. Well, all right. Any ideas? I don't think any tech solution will fix our problems totally. It's obvious that something is not working with the implementation of security policies and procedures in our hospital. I think we are all aware of how IT security works. David, I don't mean you or your guys. I'm talking about regular staff. I'm talking about doctors, nurses, janitors even. Before I came here, I overheard a doctor ask a nurse to send him confidential patient data to his private email. I talked to the nurse about it, and it seems this is standard practice here. I think there is a lot of work to be done here. So what do you want to do about it? Well, I'll need your help on this. We need to do training sessions for the staff. I'll run this by Logan. We would have to organize this quickly, no telling what might happen next. I'll try to set it up this week. And make sure you enable the anti-ransomware functionality in deep security, just in case. Can I count on your help? Sure. Thanks. All personnel, please report to ER. We have incoming wounded from a highway collision, at least 10 injured, ETA, five minutes. Hello? What's going on? We may have a big problem. Uh, we're getting swamped by reports from all of our network that people are receiving phishing emails. It uh, seems that they are almost identical, but look credible and relevant. What's the status? Everything seems to be okay. We're monitoring external traffic as well as lateral movement. I don't want to jinx it, but it looks like no one has fallen for the bait. They're just reporting the emails to us. The security training seems to be working. All right. Let's hope so. I'll keep you posted. Year old male, head on collision. Visible bleeding. Take blood him to fast now. Prep him for surgery. Can you hear me? Stay with us. I'm Dr. Miller. I'm going to help you. Hey, is everything all right? A lot of new patients, but we've got everything under control. Well done. You prevented the breach and the ransomware from crippling the hospital's operations. In the end, the doctors were able to save patient lives. Now let's take a closer look at some of the decisions that you made. We'll need to expedite spending of the next quarter's budget now. We need something versatile that covers our basic security needs, but at the same time has minimal impact on performance. Having realized that some basic security measures were not in place in the data center you inherited, you decided to scour the market for an integrated solution that offered central management and visibility for all your different server infrastructure. A quick win to resolve a pressing issue. 
Have you ever had an IT security training at all? Not as far as I can remember. And make sure you enable the anti-ransomware functionality in deep security, just in case. You did great by digging a little deeper in your conversation with members of staff and uncovered their lack of security awareness. This prompted you to enable the anti-ransomware functionality in deep security and avoid the attack.